We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Soon to be former uh, Senator Ben Sass, Bont out. I'm not sure if the kids say that anymore. We said that back in the day. Bont out, got out of there uh, from the University of Florida as he's looking to be the next president of the university. Big reason why he's leaving the Senate. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, he really wants to anymore because the students, at least this group of students there, definitely let him know that they wanted nothing to do with him. We're gonna tell you why, but let's go to more details of exactly what happened. Because according to the UF student newspaper, the independent Florida alligator. After Ben Sass left a student former early, leaders of a crowd of around 300 called the senator homophobic and racist in between yelling from the audience. One protester, as we saw in the middle portion of that video, called out, get the F, and the crowd responded, out of our swamp. Their proud swamp down there in Florida. A former president at Midland University in Nebraska, Ben Sass was elected in 2014 to the Senate. He emerged as a relatively independent voice in Republican ranks. He criticized Donald Trump. Though usually voting with him, he also voted to convict in Trump's second impeachment trial. So bear some courage, another reason why he might be leaving. So also in 2015, when the Supreme Court made this made same sex marriage legal, Sass called the ruling a disappointment to Nebraskans who understand that marriage brings a wife and husband together so their children can have a mom and a dad. Strike number one, because look, you can say that it's back in 2015, he was in opposition to it as the entire Republican Party was. So that's him, it's who he was. Fast forward to now, he's at the University of Florida and people don't want anything to do with him. As a matter of fact, he tried, uh, this is supposed to be a three part visitation. He's supposed to have a public forum for faculty, staff, and students. But the students are like, no, 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 we have something to say before any of this goes down. Let's watch more of what they did. Yeah, you know, a lot of times you get protesters and they're just a little bit off. You know, they're class at number one, three, versus the two and four. Like, <laughs> but I mean, they, they, they have to act for that. Um, Ron DeSantis just back on the shore floor. Who's going to be? Because Ron DeSantis wants to be the guy who runs this, the largest university in the state of Florida. So, as you can see there, uh, Sass was conducting one of those forums. Folks were outside screaming, hey, hey, ho, ho. <laughs> we gotta go. Uh, any comments on that? But eventually, those students took over that room. And uh, as we look from this tweet from uh, Alan Halliley, uh, Ben Sass and Rahul Patel, who's the chair of the Presidential Search Committee, searching for someone like Ben, uh, they were then doing a live stream in a remote location, and then they were that was being broadcasted into the room where the protesters then took over, uh, and that was in lieu of the third forum. Uh, from the staff, which they were looking to do as well. So one more part about this, again, he had those things to say in 2015. It wasn't just that, really fast was, because after that, he pushed it all the way up till now. Because he was asked, it wasn't just a bunch of chanting and get the hell out of here. He was asked about his stances against same sex marriage on Monday. He said, I believe in the universal dignity and the immeasurable worth of every single person. All the tens of millions of Floridians, all 56,000 students here, all 30,000 faculty and staff. We need to create a community of inclusion and respect and trust where people feel heard and appreciated and cherished. Sounds really good. Sounds like he's a changed man, Waz. Because however, when the right to abortion was overturned earlier this year, Clarence Thomas, one of the six conservatives on the Supreme Court, he suggested that same sex marriage could also be reconsidered. We remember talking about that. Democrats responded by seeking to pass the Respect for Marriage Act. And Sass, in that response, told reporters that Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, was trying to divide America with culture wars. He says, I think it's just the same old BS. She's not an adult. Two plaintiffs, Robbie Parker. A, defamation slash slander damages, past his future, $60 million. Yeah. B, emotional distress damages, past and future, $60 million. Total fair, just, and reasonable damages, $1 million. Get those numbers up. Two plaintiffs, Mark Barton. A, 257 million right now. Come on, go. Standard more, damages, more than past that. And future, $25 million. That's better. B, emotional distress damages, past and future, $32 million, Never said their names, all oh, made up. Adjusted, reasonable nope. damages. All, <laughs> it's hilarious. Bar bar Alex Jones is facing some consequences for his uh, the defamation uh, uh, lawsuits that are going on here. And the decision came down on Wednesday that he's gonna have to pay nearly $1 billion. That's with 
a B. After all those came through, you see Alex Jones was in his studio there reacting after the verdict had happened. Sarcastically, mockingly at again, these parents who are still family members of those victims that are still grieving. Partially because of how badly he's added a level of grief to their process here. He tried his best to act like it was such a great thing and how awesome it is. And I can't believe they're doing this. He's been pushing the sarcasm about how he's responsible for everything lately because he's frustrated by people paying attention to what he's been doing. Let's watch more about that because he wasn't done. And against Alex Jones and free speech systems, at line A, at line B. Why are these numbers only in the millions? It should be trillions per person. I'm offended. Do these people actually think they're getting any money? Do these people think they're actually getting any money? That's the next line of his thought process. Laughing at it, mocking, they're not getting any money. These people, I can't believe it. As we go through this and we talk about the potential or what people claimed his apologies and everything. I want you guys to pay attention to his energy as an attitude after all this is going down. Either way goes, he said no one's gonna get any, a penny of this stuff. But at the same time, he is asking for some money. I wonder where that's gonna go. Let's watch him ask. They want to scare everybody away from freedom and scare us away from questioning Uvalde and what really happened there or, or Parkland or any other event. And guess what? We're not scared and we're not going away and we're not gonna stop. And literally for hundreds of thousands of dollars, I can keep them in court for years. I can appeal this stuff. We can stand up against this travesty, against the billions of dollars they want. It's a joke. So please go to InfoWarsStore.com and get Vitamin Mineral Fusion, get X3, get all the great products that are there that keep us on air at InfoWarsStore.com. You know, it's about those products. It's not about what they can do for you. It's about buying those so you can keep me on air. Not because vitamin, mineral X or whatever the hell he's talking about, steel wool in your throat, whatever it is. Not that it's helpful that it'll keep me on, on air. 